his grandmother, his brother, sister, and he was finding his solace among the trees, among the birds that chirp in the, those trees. They give eggs, and the small uh, birds come out of those eggs, and that was the beauty of it. Uh, the nature and the human interaction uh, and it was beautifully filmed. Uh, I think the best part of the movie is the pledge in the end that they say that we all as humans have to have that soul for the protection of the environment. If we don't do it, we are going to lose it, not anybody else. Yes, it's all of us. Thank you so much for in your in-depth analysis and I think I would also like to credit uh, the writers of the film, all the team, even the kid who played uh, uh, kind of the main role. Uh, I, I can only say that the way, uh, they, the way he takes care of his ailing mother, I can see that relating to us taking care of this earth which is like our ailing mother which actually nourishes us. So if we don't take care of our mother earth, will probably you know, be in trouble, which is not that far. And thank you IIB for bringing this picture, uh, this movie here, because we live in North America, so we have abundance of water in this, this side of the world, but we don't have to go that far. Canada, uh, California has drought, so then they face water scarcity. I think you wanted to say something. Yes, it, it reminded me when you talked about, see, I come from Kashmir, and beautiful land that God has created and there's abundance of water. As I was growing up, my parents and my grandparents were talking about a lake called Anchar Lake, which was at that time dying. People know about Dal Lake, people know about Buller Lake and Nagin Lake, but the Anchar Lake in Kashmir was dying in those days as I was growing up. And when I was a teenager, I realized some of my friends who got admission in southern part of the country in say Madras and all, summer they would get college was off because there was no water available in the hostels so they had to come back and recently when I went back to Kashmir I realized in Srinagar uh, the perimeter of the city was just six miles but this time when I went back about two decades I realized it has expanded to almost three times that and all the trees and forests have been cut the paddy fields have been cut what we have done is we have taken the nature away Right? So that is basically the cause. We, we, we are destroying Mother Earth for ourselves. Thank you so much and go back to you.